How to care for puppies. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. We've come to Battersea Dogs and Cats Home in London to show how to keep and care for puppies. Battersea have been rescuing and rehoming animals for over 140 years. Puppies are expensive, demanding pets that need companionship, regular exercise, and proper training. Getting a puppy is a big commitment, and this film only covers the basics of caring for your pet. Each breed has different needs, so take advice from a vet or breeder before buying one. You should get your puppy from a reputable breeder or a rescue centre. Remember, your puppy will quickly grow into a dog. Step 1. Bringing your puppy home. A few days before collecting your puppy, take a blanket to the rescue centre or breeder so it's used to sleeping on it by the time it goes home. On the first few nights, play with your puppy before you go to bed to help it sleep. Put newspaper on the floor as it probably won't be house trained. Step 2. Housing and bedding. Your puppy will need a food and water bowl and bedding which is warm, dry and comfortable. Put the bed in a draft-free corner of the kitchen as it should be warm and have a washable floor. It will also need a well-fenced garden where it can exercise and play, and plenty of chewy toys to play with. Step 3. Handling. Pick up your puppy by gently scooping it up, keeping one hand under the chest. Stroke it every day, running your hands over its body, legs and head, so it will be comfortable when examined by a vet. Step 4. Diet. Puppies need to be fed little and often with specially formulated puppy food. Puppies aged 6 to 8 weeks should be fed 4 times a day, at 12 to 20 weeks they should be fed 3 times a day, and from 20 weeks onward twice a day. The quantity will depend on the breed and age. Feed your puppy the smallest quantity recommended for its age and size, and only increase this if it starts to look thin. It will also need fresh, clean water every day. Don't give your puppy milk as this may cause diarrhoea. To stop a puppy chewing your shoes, give it rawhide chews, nylon bones, or large, hard biscuits. Step 5. Exercise and play. Puppies shouldn't be left on their own for more than three hours a day as they will become lonely and destructive, and the time that they are left alone should be built up gradually. They shouldn't be left alone with a strange dog or child. Puppies' bones and joints are still soft and developing, so avoid hard exercise and games that will make them twist and turn. Don't force your puppy to play when it's trying to sleep, and keep children away from the bed area. Puppies should mix with other friendly animals in controlled circumstances after they've been fully vaccinated. Take your puppy out in the garden frequently, particularly straight after meals and as soon as it wakes up. You can start taking it for walks a week after the second course of vaccinations. Step 6. Cleaning. It's important to clean up after your puppy when you take it for a walk. Use gloves or a pooper scooper as dog faeces can contain a worm which causes health problems. To stop your puppy using the house as a toilet, give it plenty of praise when it uses the garden and take it back to the same area each time. Bedding should be aired every day and washed or replaced every week. Step 7. Grooming. Puppies should be brushed every day with a soft brush to keep their coats in good condition. Different breeds will need different amounts of washing and grooming, so ask a vet or groomer about how often and what sort of brush you should use. Give your puppy a chew or a toy so it enjoys the experience and is distracted. Remember to brush the tummy and between the hind legs. Grooming is a good way to bond with your puppy while you can check its skin and coat for health problems. Step 8. Health. A healthy puppy has bright eyes and a shiny coat with no signs of discharge around the eyes, mouth or nostrils. It should be able to walk without limping and have clean teeth and gums. Keep its teeth clean with chews, strong toys or canine toothpaste and brushes available from your vet. The skin should be clean with no lumps, bumps or inflammation. Your puppy should have a clean, glossy coat and no signs of diarrhoea around its tail. Puppies need vaccinations which can be expensive but are vital to your pet's well-being. They need regular treatment for fleas and worms. In the UK, it's a legal requirement for a puppy to wear a collar and tag which should be fitted at about five weeks and regularly loosened as it grows. Vets also recommend microchipping to help identify your pet if it goes missing. Have fun with your puppy.